I'm Robin Higgins and this is what does adding acid to water do to the pH level? All right, so let's take a look at our pH scale. So basically it runs from zero to 14 and in the neutral is seven, right in the middle. Uh, anything above seven is going to be basic. Anything below seven is going to be acidic. So just some fun facts. Uh, at zero, you have battery acid. And at two, you have lemon juice. Over on the other end, at nine, you have baking soda. And at 10, you have antacid, which as you can imagine, combats acids. So our question is, what happens to water if you release acid? Well, if you release an acid in water, it's going to disassociate. For instance, hydrochloric acids will disassociate into positively charged hydrogen and negatively charged chlorine. Now, the way that we measure pH, or how acid something is, acidic something is, is simply a measure of how many free hydrogens there are. If there's a lot of free hydrogens, something is acidic. If there aren't, it's basic. So, if we dissolve this in water, there's going to be tons of free hydrogens. This means that you will create an environment where there's tons of just disassociated ions, and also there'll be positively charged water called hydronium. So both of these things will combine to make the pH of water extremely acidic, depending on how much acid you add. So if you add acid to water, the pH will rise. If you want to quench that, you can add a base, bring it back down. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What Happens When You Add an Acid to Water. Mm -hmm.